I know what you're thinking. Well, if fear is a sin, why on earth would the Bible say that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom? I knew you were going to ask that, so we're going to talk about it. <laughs> Proverbs 9, the entire chapter is about wisdom and what wisdom does. And then in verses 10 through 12, listen to these words. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. Stop, sixes, I lost you. Next verse, for by me, says God, your days will be multiplied and years will be added to your life if you are wise. If you are wise for yourself. What on earth does fearing the Lord mean? The fear of the Lord is not going to cause anxiety and more fear. That's going to take away days of your life. That's going to take away years from your life. So what on earth is God saying? Well, here's the problem. Whenever we translate an ancient language into a modern language, there's not always an exact word from one language to the other. So we do the best we can. And so fear is a really, really bad word but it's the best word we have in English to describe the Hebrew word, yirah. Yirah can mean many, many things. Let me give you some other words. Respect, reverence. We don't know what that is. They used to call us reverence. Now they just call us knuckleheads if they call us at all, right? <laughs> reverence. It can also be used for a word, worship. But the closest word we have from Yara in English is awe, A-W-E. But the problem is in English, we created a word called awesome. And now you're a skateboarder. Awesome, dude. <laughs> See, it doesn't work. Here's what Yara means. It's not fear of the Lord that's the beginning of wisdom. It means to rightly understand yourself in light of God. That's what Yara means. And, and let me just say this. Some very well-meaning pastors and Christians say this. I'm nothing compared to God. Show me in the word of God where it says you're nothing. You're not nothing. Matter of fact, a couple weeks ago, we found out that the word of God actually says that you were created just a little lower than God. You're not a nothing. You're something. You see, because we don't understand how magnificent God is in order to, to compare ourselves to him, we have to make ourselves zero. And the reason we make ourselves zero is we don't understand he's numberless. He's eternal. You're not nothing. A healthy six runs to God. An unhealthy six runs from God. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Rightly understanding yourself in light of who he is is the beginning of wisdom. And listen to me, Sixes, this will make your days longer. And this is what's wrong with our world. This is why our world is spinning out of control because we no longer understand ourselves in light of him. And this is a whole nother conversation, but why is identity so huge? Because human beings were never designed to define who we are in comparison to ourselves. We were made to understand ourselves in comparison to God. And so when we take God out of the picture, I have to compare myself to something else because there is no such thing as self-identity. We identify ourselves based upon something else. Psalms 91.2. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge. He is my place of safety. He is my God. Listen to me, sixes, and I will trust in him. What's the opposite of fear? It's trust. I'm gonna trust you. It doesn't mean the fear goes away. It means I take the courageous step of trusting God for who he says he is.